but you guys got another fix it video here for you now this works with Windows 10 and other versions of Windows as well you can see we've got device manager keeps uh, refreshing or flashing on the screen but it is refreshing now first off what you want to do is start to remove any USB devices one by one and hopefully the problem will uh, disappear if it does there's an issue with the USB driver if there isn't then move on to uh, the antivirus and firewall and other protection software remove those and uninstall them from the system and see whether that is causing some sort of conflict you may also have an antivirus that hasn't quite uninstalled properly and it's causing an issue so check to make sure that you've removed all remnants of that antivirus program after you've done all that you may want to run a scan with some sort of malware software uh, just to make sure that you haven't got any malware on the system and uh, just make sure there's no infections that are causing this problem uh, another thing we can do is run uh, checks for SFC scan now in command prompt I'll show you how to do that in a second uh, but basically this will check uh, the Windows files to make sure they're not corrupted in some way shape or form so go to the search type CMD and run this as administrator this will give you the command prompt window you can type in here SFC space forward slash scan now and run this sadly uh, this didn't fix the problem for me so there was no corrupt uh, Windows files or anything like that and you sort of issue with it and uh, you want to run the DISM command it is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup uh, dash image space forward slash uh, check health and this will uh, run a check to see whether there's an issue you can see there's no violations there or any problems it's okay if you do have issues there you may want to run the uh, restore health command which will be exactly the same apart from the end uh, part which will be forward slash uh, restore health and you can run this here and uh, I've already run this on the system and there's no problems and it didn't resolve my issue but it may resolve your issue and you may want to run a check on that next up you can see here we've still got the problem in hand and I need to try to find out what next to do now obviously there is the YouTube videos that will tell you to go into services and disable uh, the error checking and also error report or something like that I'll show you where those are right now and uh, they didn't resolve the issue either and this is the problem with a lot of YouTube fix it videos they haven't got a problem to show you to fix they're basically going on the internet finding a tutorial somewhere and just replicating it without showing the fix at all and it doesn't help anyone and uh, basically what you want to do is show an actual fix or detect or troubleshoot an issue and show people a resolution to that problem and that's what I try and do with my videos so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly go and show you the services area and I'll show you how to resolve uh, this problem so what we're going to do here is go into the services window and uh, it's to do with error reporting they say that uh, if you disable these two services it will resolve your problem and uh, it doesn't resolve the problem but I just want to show you here go down to services and disable uh, these two services here now the reason why you don't want to be uh, doing this because obviously it's not going to resolve your issue all it's going to do is basically uh, hide the error and it won't fix it so it's not really a fix it's more of a, a sort of workaround so you can see one here problem reports and solution control panel just put this to disable and supposedly this is supposed to work but sadly it didn't work and I restarted the system and it didn't work and there's another one that you uh, may see on YouTube somewhere which tells you to disable the Windows error reporting service and uh, disable this one and also I tried this one and rebooted and this one didn't work either so it's not any of those two now again that might work for you but it didn't work for me and again it's not really a fix it's just basically a work workaround and disabling services so type uh, msconfig in the search here and open up the system configuration uh, window here and you can see uh, the services are inside here and what you can do is do a clean boot which is what I'd advise you to do and uh, disable all these and then also you can hide the Microsoft services here and once you reboot the system see whether you've got any uh, sort of issue if the issue goes away you know it's something to related to that and then you can sort of 
work your way through and it's the same thing with the startup items here you can disable everything and enable one at a time until you find out what is causing the problem because something is obviously running which is causing the issue here and that is basically it. it's a long process and it is a pretty lengthy one you can see here I did go through and disable all of these and it didn't uh, solve my problem so it wasn't anything that was starting up in there uh, so I did try this but you can try it if you want to but try clean boot first and uh, once we reboot the system we'll check it to see whether uh, the problem goes away so we are going to do this uh, clean boot here and this will limit the amount of services that start on uh, startup so let's just restart the system so I've restarted the system here and I'm going to go back into device manager and uh, hopefully as you can see here the problem has gone away so now we know it's something to do with a service that is starting up and this will stop all the main services here that are loading up in Windows so we know that it's one of those that's causing the problem and we need to detect which one it is so what you can do is go back into MS config and what you want to do is go through the services window here and you can see here when if I enable all these again and go back to normal startup the problem will repopulate itself and cause another issue so what you want to do is come in here and just enable one at a time uh, until you find a resolution there until you find out which service is causing that problem okay so if we go back here now and uh, I've re-enabled all those you'll see the problem will come back so as you can see it's come back and it's a basically a case of going through the services here and enabling them or disabling them all and then enabling a, you know a few at a time and then rebooting and you might have to do numerous reboots to find out which one is causing the problem to get it down to uh, which is the culprit and that's basically uh, what you can do here you can see I've disabled them all here and I'm going to hide it all again and uh, reboot but you want to sort of enable one at a time here or three or four at a time so you know if it comes back with those enabled you know it's those one of those ones and you can sort of break this down very quickly you might have to do a few reboots here to find uh, the culprit but basically that's uh, how you can do it also you can go into safe mode and it will work as well the problem will go away and yours may be different so I'm not going to sit here and go through every single one of these and waste your time but basically I know what the problem is now I just need to go through these uh, slowly and find out which one is causing the problem yours may be slightly different your error so just go through them one at a time or in blocks of five so you know which ones uh, you've enabled and you can then weed out the problem and fix it now what I try to do on this channel is show you real fixes for real problems and that way you know some of the fixes that I'm showing you are going to work with that problem and sadly a lot of YouTube videos don't show that and of course it's just done for revenue purposes also what you might want to do is check the known issues list on Microsoft's website I'll leave the link in the video description there is an array of issues that are known to Microsoft and this may uh, be related to the problem that you're trying to resolve with Windows 10 and it's important that you check here because if you're spending a vast amount of time trying to resolve an issue that is unresolvable because obviously it's a known issue and they're still investigating it then you may want to roll back to a previous version of uh, the Windows 10 uh, install now this is on Windows 10 1903 which is their very latest update and you can see they're still investigating a lot of issues here and there's also some uh, resolved ones as well and I had no I had issues with PUBG uh, when I was playing on 1903 and of course they've resolved those issues now which were known to the battle eye um, sort of cheat anti-cheat program that was running there and you can go on here and they've got other versions of Windows 10 as well which shows you uh, all the problems that they've had and some of them they've resolved so it's always useful to check this out uh, for other issues now what you can do also as well is if you're still having issues and you don't want to go through all this drama you can always use the system restore if you've got that enabled and use the system restore point to go back to uh, to before the time 
when the system uh, started to go wrong also you can also do that install uh, which is like a repair install where you'd keep all your programs and data and it will reinstall windows over the top and hopefully that resolves your issue as well whatever you do the choice is yours hopefully this resolves your issue my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support pop on the discord server if you fancy a chat have a good day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos